I think college students <clears throat> are justified in asking why you should live your lives with the effect of bad economic ideas from the 20th century. And you, on some level, I would think, recognize that President Biden represents a very 20th century perspective on politics, on economics, and on society. And you're eager to move forward. You're not even 20th century people. Even if you were born in the 20th century, it was just for a very short time. So you're ready to move on to the next to the next layer of things, and I'm ready to move on to the next layer of things. We need a new chapter of American history. We need a new beginning. We need an economic U-turn. That would include a uh, uh, would include an economic bill of rights. It would include a Department of Peace, so that we are seeking to prevent war rather than always caving to the military-industrial complex and the the war, the forever war machine that rules Washington. It means a just transition from a dirty economy to a clean economy at a time when President Biden is doing more to ramp up fossil fuel extraction than to ramp it down. It means changing from a war economy to a to a peace economy. It means ending America's war on drugs. It means a Department of Children and Youth. So I have sensed that my ideas are aligned. Well, the things I'm talking about are the, are the same things I was talking about then. And I'm running again because I feel they're almost more urgent. But where I see the major difference is in the American people. The Democratic voters four years ago were solely, almost solely focused on who can beat Donald Trump. But in retrospect, we were a bit naive to think that if only we could beat Donald Trump, then we'll go back to normal. A Pandora's box had been opened and we're not going back. It's something has changed and now there are many Trumpettes out there. So that's number one, people know there's a deeper conversation that we have to be having. This country has been through COVID. This country has been slapped down in so many ways. But that has made us, I think, uh, more sober, um, more reflective, sadder, but in a way that I think is maturing. Well, I don't know about above. Uh, my, my position on everything from healthcare, my position on the environment, I want a mass mobilization uh, from a dirty economy, just justly, from a dirty economy to a clean economy. And I want to immediately ramp down rather than ramp up fossil fuel extraction. One of the first things I would do is cancel the Willow Project. One of the things I would call for is a repeal of that 2017 uh, $2 trillion tax cut, where 83 cents of, one do of, of every dollar went to the richest earners and corporations. I'm not taking an incremental approach if I get in there. now. The president does not have a magic wand, and you don't want your president to have a magic wand. That's not our system. We have three co-equal branches of government. So it's not like everything I want to have happen would just happen. I'm not the one who's saying, let me be a dictator, right, like the other guy is. That's not me. But you would have no doubt that I was coming in there with a bold agenda.